Hello, in today's video I will show you how to make this tech component interactive with specifications and we will also make all these versions of drop downs interactive and clickable. So you will get a completely clickable and interactive tech component with specs, different variants, sizes and even design token references if you define them. And then we will move to drop down component where instead of just watching it in Figma, we will have completely clickable version and different prototypes here with search. But let's start from the beginning. Okay, so if you haven't connected Figma MCP with cursor yet, please check my other video where I explained that. But here um, I have the workspace Figma MCP and I have a lot of experiments um, available, but we will start fresh and first we will create a folder. Please create a folder called tech test and then we can paste the prompt there in the chat and also the link to the Figma frames that we will create. I've created a tech text folder. Okay, we have it here and now we can move on to the next step. Okay, so now we need to add more context. We will paste the prompt that I prepared before with iterating back and forth. So this is our reusable prompt and we also need to paste the link to our Figma. So we will just add this here and press enter and now it will start generating. Now we have to wait on cursor to build the HTML file you can also open the folder to see what's going on, but usually it takes some time so it can go through the prompt and also through Figma link that we provided. The important thing here is that you try and experiment with different models. Okay, so we got a completely new index HTML in our tech test file and we also got pill.css for style. I don't know why we have a pill.css but probably this is how cursor understood the workflow. And as you can see everything's here, the title is here, stylings are here, but now let's check what we have with clicking on open with live server. A few moments later. Okay now if we check our new tech component. We have five color variants, two style variants, three size options and three 30 total combinations and it's the same in my case. But if we check this design and this design it looks a bit different. Also the namings of the tags are different. So we have a default one, primary, danger, warning, success and then also here. And if you zoom in a bit you will see that the hover actions are different. So here we have a subtle shadow while on my examples I don't have any shadow. Also the border radius is different, strong tag, I think it uses even the wrong color. And then we can check our tokens. Design token namings are here, size, small, space, radius, one. But be careful if you don't have any names for design tokens here and you actually defined Figma variables or design tokens in Figma and then you need to go back and instruct cursor to check what's going on and to be very specific with using your colors and design tokens. Otherwise probably it didn't even check them. And then we have CSS class references and this is based on your prompt. You can instruct cursor what you want the classes to be and it will generate everything automatically. But because we are not so satisfied with what we got here and the fonts are not correct, we will instruct cursor again to check what is going on. Okay, so we have a yeah, different font. So we will go back to see what went wrong. So the best thing to do in this case is to go back to Figma, click again, copy link to selection and also check if you have too many stuff going on. You know, if you have a file, Figma file that's full of screens, full of components, please get rid of them and make it clean. And also check if you have variables in your file. You know, as you can see, I have everything's here. 
So button and colors are linked. So everything should be fine. And now we will go back to cursor and copy and paste this link there. Please review the specified colors and spacing Figma variables in my Figma file again, add, and then our link. Be very detailed, but probably now we lost the link because of the Grammarly. Okay, be very detailed and then we will just wait what happens. The cool thing is that you can see what cursor is doing. So if you see Figma planning next moves, the user is asking me to review specific colors and spacing. However, looking at the web search result provided, the content just shows multiple characters. Now we, we actually have a mistake. So it's not capable of checking our colors. And in this case, I usually try again. We can try and change the model. Okay, I can see you're referencing the Figma file, but they only see placeholder content and the actual Figma variables and design specs to provide you with the most accurate that matches your exact Figma variables. I will need to see the specific. So in our second attempt, cursor also didn't work with Claude for Sonnet. And what I did is just pasted the same link. Please try again. Here's the Figma link. And I just changed the model to Gemini 2.5 Pro. Okay, when I changed to Gemini, I immediately got this notification thought for seven seconds. And of course, I will now attempt to extract the design variables. And as you can see here, excellent, I have successfully extracted. And if you get this notification here, this is a good sign that all the colors were taken out. And if we check the namings here, text color, border color, and then it also checked if it's a mismatch in the design specs that we got before in the HTML. And then spacings, and I intentionally didn't define all of it with design tokens. And you can see this here. I have successfully updated the tech test pill.css. So we have everything there. And now let's check our HTML file. Okay, the results are way better. So we see that the colors are different. Also the spacings are different, but the font is still not the right one. And we also have this shadow. So now we can go back to cursor and just say what we want to change there. Okay, so it's very smart that you actually paste a screenshot. So I made a screenshot so you can see a little tag here image, what I see, and then use the correct typography styles as defined in the design system. Remove any shadow effects on hover and replace all tag text with the word example. So we don't have different text. Okay, and we'll just say okay. And let's wait. Planning next moves, analyzing component changes. And as you can see, every model that you use has a different way of explaining what they are doing. So Cloud for Sonnet doesn't describe everything so in so many details, but Gemini provides a lot of context what's going on behind the scenes. Okay, we got the notification, update typography, remove hover shadow, and it will also standardize text. So now it should be done. We can apply the changes. We can also see the changes reflected here in the file. And now let's go to the file and check. Okay, so texts were changed. We have example. Now we only have some moving here. It works also here. Colors are correct. Sizings are cool. Strong variant. Okay, static. And we also have the usage of design tokens. So we could make this page completely different and you can definitely play with it and next time just reuse the same prompt for any other component. So play and experiment what works best for you but don't give up when model doesn't work. Maybe just reset the model or chat or maybe quit cursor and start again but it's very important that you are persistent. Okay, but now let's check the drop down component, which is a bit more complex, and we will see how it goes. So before we go, go to cursor and check and do the prototype there, let's check what are the differences. So in version one, we have icons on the left side, the category is on top, and the selected storage zone is always blue. In this case, 
everything's almost the same, the icons smaller. In version 3, we have the icons on the right side, the same for category, and the selected one doesn't use the icon but check mark. In this case, we don't copy the icons for each storage zone, we only use it for each category, and the version 5 is the most dense, the selected one has a blue icon. Okay, so now let's go to cursor and check what I did there. So the important thing here is that I used so vanilla JavaScript and for icons I'm using font awesome. And I also added this instruction to cursor because it looks weird if you have different icons that in design. We use interfonts via Google and yeah, the structure is here. And then we have design tokens. And again, please instruct cursor to check your file and your exact frame in Figma. So you will have the correct um, values. And when you will copy this prompt, you don't have to copy everything because you will use different colors unless you want to have the same colors. And then while I was experimenting with this design, I also added 300 pixels width and then height for each row, which we will change for version 5, as I mentioned before, 32. And then we have some different examples. I also use some fake names in Figma and I instructed cursor to change this naming so it looks more real. And then we have some interactive features here, search functionality, how it should look like, and also user experience requirements. But the important thing is that first you start with Figma, you add the details there, and then you play with it. But right now we will copy and paste this prompt. I started a new chat. Please create a new folder called drop down test. And again, we can start with Gemini 2.pro or change to Clot for Sonnet, whatever you want. Let's create a new folder and we will start there and then compare my old component with this new one. Okay, so we have drop down and drop down test. And now we will paste the prompt and I will also go to Figma and just copy paste the link to selection. So copy link to selection and let's see what happens. Okay, it's already reviewing the Figma link. The good thing is that I see you've provided a Figma link and called get code and get image was successful. So that's good news for us. And now given this, I can proceed by using reusable prompt dot md to build a drop down component yes start okay so it will start by creating the index html file inside the drop down test okay this was quite fast we can already see the file here and now it will start with script script is done would you like me to proceed yes of course proceed okay it's planning next moves now it's focusing on refining the drop down content because the thing was that when I instructed to create this drop down, it was already open. But if you want to compare the functionality of drop down, it works best that you click as a user, you search through, you have the hover effect, you have the search functionality and only then you can decide what works best. You can do this on a separate screen to see which version you prefer and then you give this version to developers. Okay, it seems that cursor is done. Let's go there and check. Okay, the result is way better because the design is similar. The icon is completely different, but still we are closer to the design that we have in Figma. Okay. And as you can see, it's also not following the instructions here. So if we have the icons on the right side, also the category should be on the right side and the icon of the category. It changed the row to 40, but not for categories. And then we have version four and version five is also 32, which is fine. And now we could go back and of course play and you can do that. So to make this icon way smaller to change the animations to change the hover effect just make the version that you prefer way better than it is right now 
and then you can find your perfect one and play with it or maybe add some screens to test what works best but as you can see it took how many like 20 minutes to get two components with specifications and make them interactive even with search which is still way better than doing all of these things in Figma. But now I also wanted to show you another option as a bonus, because maybe you're not using cursor. There is also an option to use Lovable. So let, let's check how you could do the same component there. So Lovable.dev is another tool that allows you to use conversational UI and build whatever you want so you can also connect it with figma via builder.io or you can just paste the design there but of course this is not so detailed because it cannot take your colors but i just wanted to check how much time it takes and also what kind of results i get I use the same prompt and here I already have, you know, design tokens that I'm using and this is what I got. So this was the first version. And as you can see, it's not perfect. It's not following my design completely because I have the categories. I have the icons on the left and the background is a bit different for categories. All the icons are aligned on the left side, which I don't see here. I mean, I don't mind using the different icons because they probably don't use font awesome in the background. For two minutes work, I think it's great. But of course, if you want to make it closer to your design, you would have to add more prompts and maybe wait a little bit longer. But as you can see, it's quite satisfying to see your design or something similar to your design in two minutes. So I advise you to check lovable.dev as well and compare what works best for your design system component. But I love cursor in this case more because I can connect it with my Git, with GitHub, and it's much easier than to upgrade and make the components more complex or even connect everything together once you have more design components available there. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Bye!